one truly guilty party behind it all. Guilty in the true sense of acting with malice and committing a heinous crime with selfish intent. Hi, welcome to Film Finds. Today, we're on a thrilling quest, searching for mysteries that keep you on the edge of your seat, with that makes you chuckle, and plots so twisty, you'll need a map to navigate. If you love the razor-sharp humor and intricate storytelling of Knives Out, then you're in the right place. From mansions with secrets behind every door to detectives with a knack for the dramatic, we're counting down the top 10 movies that share the same DNA as Rian Johnson's modern classic. This is our picks for the top 10 movies similar to Knives Out. Kicking off our countdown is the eagerly anticipated Knives Out 2, Glass Onion, a sequel that cleverly unfolds in 2022 under the deft direction of Rian Johnson. The story catapults us into the sun-drenched opulence of a tech billionaire's retreat on a Greek island, where Detective Benoit Blanc, portrayed by the ever-engaging Daniel Craig, finds himself amidst an eclectic group of old friends gathering under the guise of a fun-filled reunion. However, the atmosphere thickens with tension as what starts as playful banter soon spirals into a web of deceit, secrets, and a murder mystery begging to be unraveled. Each character, a vibrant splash on the canvas of this plot, harbors motives and means, making the task of peeling back the layers of this onion complex and thrilling. Glass Onion not only promises a journey through a labyrinth of clues and misdirection but also serves up a sumptuous visual feast that keeps the audience guessing at every turn. This sequel excels in intertwining a captivating mystery with a sharp social commentary, echoing the original's charm with its blend of humor, suspense, and a critique of elite eccentricities. Uh, Mr. Parks, below stairs you'll be known as Mr. Stockbridge. Three more, yeah. that's so. But Parks, only a... Next on our exploration is Gosford Park, a film that transports us to a 1932 English country estate, teeming with the aristocracy, their servants, and a myriad of hidden agendas. Directed by Robert Altman, this masterful ensemble piece intricately dissects the British class system through a murder mystery that unfolds during a weekend shooting party. As guests and staff weave through the sprawling mansion, the lines between upstairs and downstairs blur, revealing their interconnected lives and secrets. The sudden murder of the host not only shocks but also invites an investigation that digs deep into the complex social fabric of the time. With its witty dialogue, intricate plot, and a stellar cast, Gosford Park offers a rich tapestry of characters, each with their own story, making the unraveling of the mystery as delightful as it is surprising. Much like Rian Johnson's contemporary whodunit, Altman's film thrives on its sharp social commentary, wrapped in the guise of a murder mystery. Come on! <laughs> Embarking further into our cinematic journey, we encountered Death on the Nile, Kenneth Branagh's 2022 adaptation of Agatha Christie's beloved novel. This lavishly produced film invites us aboard a glamorous river cruise through Egypt, where the celebrated detective Hercule Poirot, played by Branagh himself, is both guest and guardian among a roster of affluent passengers. The voyage quickly turns from picturesque to perilous when a love triangle escalates into murder, prompting Poirot to navigate a maze of jealousy, betrayal, and deceit. Amidst the backdrop of breathtaking Egyptian landscapes, Death on the Nile unfurls a story rich with passion, vengeance, and the quest for justice, showcasing Branagh's keen eye for drama and detail in this classic tale of intrigue. This film combines a deeply human story with the intricacies of a murder mystery. Bradas Poirot, with his sharp intellect and moral complexity, echoes Benoit Blanc's charm and wit, offering viewers a protagonist who is as compelling as the mystery itself. Moreover, Death on the Nile mirrors Knives Out through its focus on the dynamics of wealth and privilege, making it a modern classic that resonates with the elegance and edginess of its predecessor. It was my plan. I recruited them. Embarking on the fourth spot of our list, we journey aboard the legendary Orient Express in the 2017 adaptation of Agatha Christie's iconic novel. 
Directed by and starring Kenneth Branagh as the impeccably mustached Hercule Poirot, this iteration brings to life a lavish train voyage through Europe that quickly turns sinister when a snowdrift stops the train in its tracks, coinciding with the murder of a despised millionaire. Each passenger becomes a suspect, and Poirot's investigation becomes a race against time to solve the puzzle before the murderer strikes again. The film dazzles with its star-studded cast, breathtaking cinematography, and a faithful yet fresh adaptation of one of literature's greatest mysteries. But why does Murder on the Orient Express, 2017, resonate with fans of Knives Out? Both films rejuvenate the murder mystery genre with their ensemble casts, intricate plotting, and the central presence of a charismatic detective. Branagh's Poirot, much like Daniel Craig's Benoit Blanc, combines intelligence with a unique flair, captivating audiences as he untangles the web of deceit on board. The film's commitment to character-driven storytelling and its blend of suspense with moments of levity mirror the successful formula of Knives Out, making it a thrilling ride for anyone fascinated by the complexities of human nature and the timeless allure of a good mystery. Landing at number 5, The Hateful Eight whisks us away to a post-Civil War Wyoming, where eight strangers find themselves trapped in a stagecoach stopover during a blizzard. Tarantino's signature blend of sharp dialogue, vivid characters, and brutal storytelling is on full display as these seemingly unrelated individuals reveal their connections and true intentions. With Samuel L. E. Jackson, Kurt Russell, and Jennifer Jason Lee leading an exceptional cast, the film unfolds like a theatrical play, each act ratcheting up the tension and mystery. As Alliance's form and secrets are unveiled, the line between the hunter and the hunted blurs, leading to an explosive conclusion. What binds the hateful eight to knives out is not just its mystery element, but how the story is told through rich character development and a setting that feels like a character itself. Like Knives Out, Tarantino's film delves into themes of deception, morality, and justice, all while keeping the audience guessing. The use of a confined space maximizes the tension and interaction among the characters, reminiscent of the Thromby estate's role in Knives Out. It's a masterclass in storytelling that compels viewers to pay attention to every detail, making The Hateful Eight a captivating watch for fans who appreciate a story that keeps them engaged and entertained till the very end. Landing at number 6 on our cinematic journey, Bad Times at the El Royale invites us into a rundown hotel with a dark history, straddling the border between California and Nevada. Directed by Drew Goddard, this film intricately weaves together the stories of seven strangers, each harboring their own secrets and motives, who converge at the El Royale for one fateful night in the late 1960s. As the night progresses, their paths intertwine in unexpected ways, leading to revelations, redemption, and a fair share of violence. With its stylish execution, atmospheric setting, and brilliant ensemble cast, the film masterfully blends suspense, drama, and dark humor to create a riveting narrative that keeps audiences guessing until the very end. Give me the phone and take the money. Drop the fucking money and run, boy. Right. Seventh in our lineup is The Gentleman, a high-octane return to Guy Ritchie's roots, blending crime, comedy, and a dash of sophistication. Released in 2019, this film unravels the story of American expat Mickey Pearson, played by Matthew McConaughey, who has built a highly profitable marijuana empire in London. When word gets out that he's looking to cash out of the business, a series of plots, schemes, and blackmail attempts unfold, involving an eclectic mix of characters from British gangsters to international billionaires. While operating in different genres, both films excel in their ensemble casts, each member bringing depth and flair to the narrative. Ritchie, much like Johnson, crafts a complex story that is as engaging for its plot twists as it is for its character dynamics. The Gentleman shares with Knives Out a keen sense of humor, a penchant for clever dialogue, and a narrative that keeps audiences guessing. Put on these clothes to convince myself I'm civilized. I want so bad to be 
good. <laughs> Eighth on our list, the outfit stitches together a story of meticulous detail and suspense. Directed by Graham Moore, this 2022 film is set in the underbelly of 1950s Chicago, focusing on Leonard, a master English tailor, or cutter, played by Mark Rylance. Leonard has relocated to a small shop in Chicago, where he dresses a mix of wealthy clients and vicious gangsters. One night, the shop becomes the center of a dangerous game when an envelope filled with crucial mob secrets lands in Leonard's hands, turning his store into a battleground of wits and survival. The outfit masterfully combines elements of drama and thriller genres, showcasing a story where the tension is cut as precisely as the suits. Despite its more focused setting and smaller cast, the outfit captures the essence of intrigue and intellect that defines Knives Out. The film's strength lies in its character-driven plot, where dialogue and subtlety play key roles in unraveling the mystery. Much like Knives Out, the outfit offers a fresh take on the genre, prioritizing clever storytelling and character complexity over action-packed sequences. It's the cerebral game of cat and mouse, along with the moral ambiguities faced by its characters, that aligns the outfit with the cunning narrative spirit of Knives Out, making it a standout choice for viewers who appreciate the art of suspense crafted through words and wit. Ninth in our parade of mystery and deception is A Simple Favor directed by Paul Feig in 2018. This film entwines the lives of Stephanie, a widowed single mother and vlogger played by Anna Kendrick, and Emily, a mysterious and glamorous woman portrayed by Blake Lively. Their friendship takes a dark turn when Emily asks Stephanie for a simple favor, to pick up her son from school one day. Emily's sudden disappearance sets Stephanie on a detective's path, unraveling a complex web of secrets, lies, and murder that lies beneath Emily's seemingly perfect life. With its sleek style, twisty plot, and biting humor, A Simple Favor offers a modern noir that keeps viewers guessing while laughing. Both films blend mystery with a sharp wit and a keen observation of human behaviors and social mores. A Simple Favor, like Knives Out, utilizes its sophisticated humor and a complex plot to delve into the themes of friendship, betrayal, and the facade of perfection. The chemistry between its leads and the stylish execution make the journey to the truth as entertaining as it is surprising. Much like Knives Out, a simple favor proves that the most compelling mysteries often hide in plain sight, wrapped in the enigma of everyday life, making it a must-watch for those who enjoy their thrillers with a side of chic cynicism. Rounding out our top 10 is See How They Run, a delightful dive into the world of 1950s London, set against the backdrop of a West End theater production turned murder scene. Released in 2022, this film introduces us to a pair of unlikely detectives, one, a seasoned but jaded inspector, and the other, an eager rookie. Together, they navigate through a maze of clues, egos, and red herrings, trying to solve the murder of a key team member behind a successful play. With a nod to the golden age of detective fiction, See How They Run combines elements of humor, mystery, and a touch of meta-cinematic commentary, making it a fresh yet nostalgic addition to the murder mystery genre. Much like Rian Johnson's contemporary masterpiece, this film thrives on its ensemble cast, where every character adds a layer to the unfolding mystery. The clever writing, filled with both humor and suspense, echoes the intricate storytelling and character dynamics that made Knives Out such a hit. Moreover, See How They Run delights in subverting genre conventions, offering viewers a playful, engaging, and intelligent cinematic experience. Its blend of classic murder mystery elements with a modern sensibility makes it a must-watch for those who love their mysteries served with wit, charm, and a side of historical flair. And there you have it, our curated exploration into the world of mystery and intrigue, inspired by the clever twists and charismatic characters of Knives Out. We've journeyed through tales of deceit, puzzles, and wit, uncovering films that captivate and challenge us in equal measure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our future content. Do you agree with our list, or do you have a favorite we missed? Let us know in the comments below, we love hearing from you. Thanks for watching Film Finds, and until next time.